biodiversity and sustainability. How does biodiversity contribute to the sustainability of an ecosystem? What does biodiversity mean? We're going to break up the word. Bio means life. Diversity means variety or an assortment. Write your own definition for biodiversity using a complete sentence. The term biodiversity is short for biological diversity. Biodiversity means the number of different genes, species, and ecosystems. Biodiversity maintains the health of the earth and its people. It provides us with food and medicine and contributes to our economy. It tells us a lot about the health of the biosphere. The greater the variety of species, the better the diversity. And that means the healthier the biosphere. The more links or connections in a food web, the more stable it is. Sustainability. Sustainability is the ability to maintain ecological processes over long periods of time. Sustainability of an ecosystem is the ability of that ecosystem to maintain its structure and function over time when, challenges, when challenged with external stress. Sustainability is strongly linked to ecosystem health. The more sustainable an ecosystem is, the healthier it is because it is able to deal with external stress. Now there are threats to sustainability. The more organisms that can fulfill a particular niche or energy role in an ecosystem, the more likely it is to sustain a, a threat. Choose three of the following threats to ecosystem sustainability and explain why this is true. So we have disease, limited resources, catastrophic events, environmental change, human disturbance, and invasive species. So biodiversity and sustainability together, the higher, the more biodiversity equals more sustainable. Lower, less biodiversity is less sustainable. High biodiversity in an ecosystem means that there is a great variety of genes and species in that ecosystem. So the more the merrier. A great variety of genes and species means that the ecosystem is better able to carry out natural processes in the face of external stress. Thus the ecosystem is more sustainable. The greater the variety of genes and species of fish, plants, and animals in the Lake LBJ ecosystem the more biodiversity. Higher biodiversity will increase the ecosystem sustainability. Why is this important? Biodiversity helps us heal ourselves. Over a hundred different species of plants are known to provide medicine for humans. 40% of the medicines found in pharmacies are derived from plants. Without the rosy periwinkle, many more children would die from childhood leukemia. Thus the cure for cancer or the common cold lie in a local plant. Biodiversity keeps natural areas together. 
natural areas or ecosystems provide us with essential services like clean air and fresh water. Every time we lose a species from an ecosystem, we change the way the whole system works. If this goes on for too long, the area loses its ability to support the organisms living there and its ability to provide us with these essential services. Biodiversity attracts tourists. Tourism is the most rapidly growing industry in the world. And ecotourism, which helps people enjoy nature and ecosystem, is the most rapidly growing kind of tourism. All kinds of places need to preserve biodiversity to help their economy strong, to keep their economy strong. Biodiversity helps life to continue on Earth. Biodiversity is life's insurance policy and helps evolution to take place. For example, biodiversity helps usher in the age of mammals 65 million years ago and when the dinosaurs became extinct. Biodiversity gives us food. 20 species of plants, wheat, rice, corn, potatoes, barley, cassava, sorghum, etc., gives us 80% of the food we eat. If disease or insect pests attract these crops, we'll need the more resistant varieties of these plants that are currently growing wild. Biodiversity helps us preserve our diversity. The large number of human cultures that exist add to the, to the diversity of the human experience and enrich us as a species. The loss of biodiversity also threatens these cultures, particularly those that live close to the land, for example, in the forests of the Amazon. 